Shanti, my religious background is varied, and I, I think my question would be this. How do we best apply what we've learned along the way? Yes. We are all hypnotized. We are all brainwashed because of environment. The environment like parents growing up years. First seven years of life are very powerful because we are totally open to absorb everything, literally. Even child who doesn't understand the language absorbs the vibrations and feelings. We get programmed by the religion. We are programmed by the school, by the society, family, relatives and our own personal experiences. We have no choice because we are already exposed. So what I recommend is being born again. We are born like eggs. Birds are born as eggs and then they hatch out of the egg. Most of us, most human beings, they are born like egg and die like egg. They never hatch out. That means they are into all the programming. Get out of the programming and think for yourself. Be revolutionary. Be dynamic. Think for yourself. Apply all the experiences and all the teaching to make them contemporary so you understand for your life and your situation here and now. You know? So when we do that, then we have different vision. We see situation differently. And first thing we do is question. Most people who are born Christian, they are brainwashed by Christianity. Those who are born Buddhist, they are brainwashed by Buddhism. Those who are born Hindus, or Muslim, they are brainwashed. Because from childhood they are told, this is God, this is what you worship, this is good, this is bad. And then you become narrow. And most of the people who are born into that religion and custom, they don't know anything about their own religion. As Christian, and they don't know the essence of Thanksgiving, essence of Christmas, essence of Palm Sunday, you know, yes. all these things. Hindus, I know, most Hindus don't know ABC of Hinduism. All they know is the ritual going to the temple. And this is true of all religions. They don't know the real essence because you are born into it, you take it for granted. So what I did, I took everything for granted and then I started questioning. I questioning and analyzing from a new perspective, different angle. And then it becomes much more fresher. Questioning everything, you know, everything I learned. Doing yoga position, why? Doing breathing, why? Worshipping God, why? Why God have so many heads, so many arms, why? Things like that, then you learn more. Matter of fact, Religions are in line with science. They are not against science. Religions are taught for people to take it for granted, you know. Yes. Parents say, like, do it because our religions say that. Because we are doing for so many generations, do it. But child asks question, why? They have no answer. Now people are more awake, they are questioning. Children are more awake and asking question and if they look at the science properly they would be opened up. For me eye opener was quantum physics. I wrote this book initially when I saw the first movie what the bleep we know and it, then I studied more of quantum physics and I can see what Vedanta philosophy taught it was like take for granted because I'm telling you here science validated from different perspective 
simplest example scripture say world is illusion and i understood it but i could not see my body to be illusion because i feel pain i feel hunger but when quantum physics explain it made much more sense so i tied them together names and forms are illusion there is nothing substantial there is no gross matter in the universe when you see this then yogic teaching which was given that you cannot usually experience but with science and understanding it gives you so much strength so be dynamic be creative and don't get hung up on anything or anyone don't follow anyone blindly because you could be misled follow the original teaching and derive the essence for yourself and then it will be dynamic and if you are doing that you will have greater joy creativity and compassion see all this will happen if you become very religious and you become intolerant of other faith that means you have become narrow yes. if your own faith and your own practice makes you more compassionate to accept all the religions all the nation all the races all the living creatures and all animals and plant kingdom entire universe then you have really evolved okay yes. that's nice